Yes! The intro! Dun, 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 dun. There's actually two versions of this intro I found out. One for Jude, one for Mila. This is the Mila version because it focuses on her. It's epic. It's amazing. I only had to wait two years for this. It's funny they don't show the choking scene here. <laughs> Good old Alvin. Not like any of these scenes ever happened in the game. All of them are dead. <laughs> right along the side skewer you in half here's Leia in her only combat scene this dickhead again I can't believe we let him live we let Gaius live and it wasn't snowing that heavy in that scene either what the hell is it cold in every place these people are in? What's done is done. Beautiful game. I don't understand the significance of the sword left in the rock because that's been done a thousand times over, but in any event, that's it. That's the end of Tales of Zillia. Now just really briefly, let's go to New Game Plus. Obviously the only one I can load up is this one. How much grade would you need if you want to get some good stuff going? Let's see. <clears throat> Welcome to the Grade Shop. At the Grade Shop you can carry over various aspects of your game into new playthroughs. Each item has a grade price. You can buy as many... Oh fuck this. Oh fuck this. 5,000. Oh, man. Double damage oh, by friends and foes. Forget that. Have the TP cost of all arts. Well, not doing this. In order to get this, you probably have to do multiple playthroughs, is what I'm thinking. Five times experience. Double gold. Double the material points. I have no clue what that's for. Unlock all skits to view in the library. That's like all my grade. So obviously to get a, get a good amount of grade, you have to basically be a completionist and run around doing everything. Well, okay, can I go go back? Evidently not. <laughs> when in doubt, PS home it out. All right, so that's it for Tales of Graces. Oh my fucking God, Tales of Zillia. Very enjoyable game. You know, the story is very captivating, very good. You know, I definitely want to keep playing it pretty much nonstop. And uh, I really enjoyed it. It was really a fun game to play. And uh, I can't wait for Tales of Zillia 2. I really cannot. I really am looking forward to that game. I think it's going to be really enjoyable. And, you know, same thing here. Like, I've been enjoying Tales games since I first played Tales of Symphonia. You know, once I sat down with Symphonia, I really enjoyed Tales games. Well, here I am, what, like seven years, eight years later, you know, and still enjoying them. They're really good JRPGs, you know what I mean? They're a break from Final Fantasy. You know, they're a step up from a lot of other JRPGs. So, I enjoyed it. Really well done. And I can't wait to see what Namco Bandai does next with both Tales of Zillia 2 and, uh, see, uh, whatever the next Tales game is. You know, I said this at the end of Vesperia. Boy, I can't wait to see what they do next. And, you know, they blew me away with Graces and they blew me away with this game. Of course, there were some gripes and grimaces, such as Mila's shitty spell uh, spell tree. I don't know what else to call it. All the, her art tree is really, really poor, you know, to keep Rowan relevant. I think that's really lame. Um, also, some stuff like the, the world map. I wish there was a better world map. I wish there was a little more stuff to do in Olympios. But other than that, great game, man. There's a lot of good stuff here. So, I'm Spring Pro 1000. It is almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I stayed up specifically just to beat this one game. Um, I will not be pulling any more long all-nighters like this for the remainder of the summer vacation and probably for the remainder of the year just because of the fact that it, I am extremely exhausted right now. 
fu- uh, very funny. I'm not garbling my words or anything. I'm, you know, I'm pretty chill. I'm pretty relaxed. But at the same time, I'm done for the day. I, I even, I wasn't even gonna play this. I spent three hours playing this. I was, you know, playing Black Ops with a uh, How Original, and then I just said, you know what? I want to beat this game. So I did, and it was enjoyable. The one thing that does piss me off, though, is Elise left Tipo in a box. That's horrible. I don't... That blows my mind. That's like your best friend. You leave him in a fucking box. That's so horrible. (laughs) How could you do that? After all he does for you, he is your combat style, and you leave him. Anyway, I'm upset about that. I'm pissed. I'm flaming... Uh, flamingly fucked up right now, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave, so. Done. I, I'm so done right now. I am basically.